Hello everybody and welcome back to the 2B2T Museum. And in today's base tour I'm going to take you on a tour of Asgard 2. Powered by Mountain Dew and Doritos. <laughs> anyway, this base at one point had some 30 odd players building here, so this is quite a lot more substantial than the original Asgard. Local Transport Railway, that's nice. <laughs> Not a lot left of him. Um, so this is quite a substantial base and certainly got built up quite a bit. Anyway, I think we'll be doing a lot of flying in this episode because otherwise I'm just going to spend ages walking everywhere. Yeah, now let's just go straight up. Let's start over here with whatever this thing is. I guess this is someone's house. Um, Not sure whose it is, unfortunately. I haven't seen any signs pointing out the owner. So I guess an observation deck and roof with antenna. So you got the plane over there, I'll get there to there later. Now where shall we go? Alright, we got some docks here. And some whatever this is. Okay. <laughs> Broken faggot in. <laughs> well, I guess it's something you need by the docks. And just a little dockland area. I don't think I'll go down this tunnel. So I have a rough idea where it goes. It's just um other side of the hill. Yeah, that road there. And we have the spectacular bridge, and along with that other one that comes to this castle, which is quite large. And Melkor91 certainly spent a lot of time on this. Wow, oh, the server's certainly getting busy. And oh, nice, sort of like a boardroom or boardroom or the Knights of the Round Table and sort of thing. Uh, let's see what's this area. Just rooms and rooms. Uh, a lot of large builds are like that. I guess that was something that was to be filled next. And we get some outside views. I think we're in the tower or something. More barred windows and yeah, we're up on one of the roofs. Now is there a way down? I think there is. No, there isn't really anything in here. At least I don't think there is. Doesn't feel like that was ever really developed. And we've got a giant ass throne room, which is really spectacular. And let's see what else is around here. On the staircase, more open rooms, and I get a feeling there was probably more that was supposed to happen to this place. The forge area. Right, let's go back downstairs, back to the... Yeah, another way out of this room. Not really. It does have a nice view though. And let's see what else is around here. There's another path up here. Not sure where it goes. But might as well have a look. Yeah, that comes out into that area around there, and I think it just loops around. If I remember rightly, because I have been here before some time back. A seed from the white tree of Valkyria. Ah, 
and the old to be duty humor it's a server that you really need if you want to enjoy it you can't be easily triggered there's a back door and what's this have I been up here possibly yeah I have oh well let's see that back door and I have to go around I mean I've been at this for five minutes we've only looked at one part of this base so at least we're getting a decent length episode today as long as nothing happens and I see we have best pony <laughs> and let's come down here and I'm not sure where I want to go next there's just so much stuff to look at like uh, this thing here whatever it is again it seems to be part finished yes yes what oh well anyway let's have a look here yeah okay we've done the castle what's next oh, let's come along here but yeah anyway I was just saying okay let's see Russell Farm Inc. Incorporated. No plants here at the moment, but <laughs> someone critiquing. It doesn't really matter how much water you use as long as it works. Oh, an auto farming device. Neat. I don't think I'll be having any more BeamNG drive videos. Probably shouldn't put this in here, but the game's been crashing my computer. I was going to do one this week, but until I figure out what's wrong, I don't think that'll happen. Now go this way. Oh, there's a house over there. So what's this thing? So sort of storage space for everything. And I guess that's how they got the stuff over here. Alright, so let's have a look. I suppose we should go have gander at this one. Which is also where that thing is. There's something up there. I'll have to go have a look. Hmm, jumping is strange. Okay, this one isn't finished, so I'm wondering if this happened late before just before the build got griefed or something. So there's a lot of oh, either that they just haven't got around to rebuilding it yet. I think it may have been in the case of the latter. But uh, either way it's a very nice looking structure for what there is of it. Only I mentioned 2.0, Spartan 512. That's spectacular. <laughs> Guess that's how you do it. Um, let's see, what do we have over here? Some kind of device. And looks like the start of something here. Or at least half of something. Like they cut this thing off at the halfway point, or it was just simply never finished, like a lot of things on 2B2T. Alright, what's this place? Good cold little hut. Um, it has a different definition of little. 
sand walls though, whatever. Who goes up with that? Really? Heck is up with that? Oh, I see they use sand for the internal walls. Alright, then we've got this lake area. Which appears to have been built, sort of like a reservoir or something. Little lake house in the middle. And yeah, let's fly up and have a look at these high level things. Since someone was obviously building something. And it's mostly made out of glass. Makes me wonder if there was some kind of project someone was going to start. Oh god, that sun's bright with shaders on. Either that they just didn't want rain falling on something. Oh hey, another pony! <laughs> uh, let's see, what else is over here? Alright, let's come down here. I'll get up to that soon. But here we have, well, I don't really need to go into it too much, but it's not really finished. Um, I think someone needs to come along and light all of those. But yeah, that's certainly spectacular. Uh, I'm guessing this was going to be some kind of grand building that never got done. Because reasons. And then we got this nice uh, bridge thing, aqueduct, what do you call them? Doesn't actually go anywhere yet, so I'm assuming that was future construction are going to happen over here. There is signs of it. I mean, you got the spot over here that's been flattened out and all that, so I'm guessing this was another project that just never got off the ground. Now, I suppose we're nearly at the end of this. Um, not sure what else is left to look at. Uh, there's this thing here. Okay, some farm and Silent Pedro's Eco Home. Silent Pedro, now why does that name ring a bell? Is that Fitz's old name? I hate button operated doors. Kind of looks like his style. I think that's supposed to pull the windows down. But it's one way to open a window. Um, yeah, kind of looks like something Fit would build. Alright, let's go up here and check out whatever this building is, and then go to the plane. We'll finish off there. Whatever this place was for, it's quite stylish. There isn't really much to it though, so... Oh, there's a sign down there. It's our little 2000s jet house. TSA warning, flint and steel prohibited report of the aeroplane. Yeah, it's probably not a great idea to build, um plane out of anything out of wall on 2B2T it will get messed up. Anyway flight <laughs> flight 420. You do have to time it pretty well with the buttons. Right. 
pilot to sort of deck. Um, let's work our way back through the plane. It's a little difficult as it's tight quarters in here. Here's the button. There's the button. As we move back through the plane, there we finally get back to the crappers. All right, let's head forward if I can. Yeah, that happens a lot to me. Really, and that's why I don't like having doors on buttons. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for t today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please drop me a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on the 2B2T Museum.